What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to our second battle with this Urshifu team that we built last Monday. Now, today we are against Riot. Riot is bringing a pretty interesting team. The biggest threats, in my opinion, in this team, got something in my eye, are actually the Melmetal. Actually, they're all pretty big threats. I'm not going to sleep on the Pikachu because as a Pikachu user myself, I haven't used it in this channel, but I've used it in Auras, and Pikachu is actually really underrated. It's very frail, but it hits like a truck with the light ball. So he actually has a really intimidating team. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start Magnezone. And once I go Magnezone, I'm just going to Volt Switch out of there. It doesn't matter what my opponent brings in. If he, if he comes in with the Melmetal, I got Magnet Pool, so he's kind of trapped. I don't think uh, I'm, I'm going to stay in against the Melmetal, though, is the thing. So, Riot, welcome to, I guess, the channel. This is going to be the first, the second battle that we've had with this team. So, be sure you check out the Team Builder number one. And also, be sure to check out the latest Wi-Fi battle. Galar Champion, which is the, Aran, the I almost said Aran Guru, but that's, that's not even who he is. That's a real boom. All right, so we got the Magnezone. He's probably going to go for a Glassy Glide. I've gone against a couple of Glassy Glide um, Go Goku because <laughs> it's a Super Saiyan 3. I like that. Okay, so if he is Choice Bandit, I don't mind staying in so much because he's going to knock out a lot of my Pokemon, to be honest. I honestly think we're going to Flash Cannon here. I kind of want to try attack to try to get a Paralysis going or even a Burn because that would actually be very, very nice. So hopefully we get uh, one of the three elements. Come on. Sword Stance. That is the scariest thing I've seen. Now we need a Burn. We need a Burn. So obviously this thing probably is not running uh, Grassy Glide. It's probably running something else. I should have switched. Come on, please give me a status. No earthquake. Magnezone goes down. Dang. Swords dance, Oranguru. Or I keep calling it Oranguru, but it's a real boom. Get that in your head. Okay, so that's a little bit of a problem, to be honest. I'm not ready to take a bunch of attacks from a swords dance real boom. So I'm gonna try to go Drydigon here, and I'm gonna try to hit him with the Dragon Tail. That's gonna be my next move because obviously this thing is really threatening with a plus two attack u-turn okay that's not bad that does a lot of damage rough skin and rocky helmet are gonna whittle this thing down and i think we need to set up the stealth rock because once we once we set up the stealth rock this thing is probably gonna go down to be honest i wonder what his next pokemon is gonna be um he really has the opportunity to go for anybody Probably Melmetal if he's running because Galar, they're all Galar champion. You're probably gonna hit me with an Ice Beam, and I really don't want. Oh, you can't hit me with an Ice Beam because you're gonna get out of here. Get out of here, Blastoise! You ain't hitting me with no Shell Smash and that against or Shifu comes out. This is the One Punch or Shifu. All right, so I'm gonna Self Rock here. Probably gonna go down to this or Shifu, but that's okay. Wicked Blow is gonna hurt. It's a crit. That was a really cool animation. It's a crit, obviously. All right, so you're gonna Shima's gonna take some damage. Wow, Wicked Blow versus a single see, uh, rapid style. Single strike, I think, is what this one is called, right? I could be wrong. I kind of want to rest, to be honest. I, I really want to try to rest. The Wicked Blow again. I'm go I I'm just gonna like try to go and go down here. You're going to take some damage. So I think that's worth it alone. Now, Wicked Blow, I think, is a dark type attack, right? I'm pretty sure it's a dark type attack. So I think I'm going to go into my own Urshifu here. I think that's pretty safe. I'm going to go to my own Urshifu here. And I really want to hit this thing with a with the Surging Strikes. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do. In case he wants to switch out into Gengar, Surging Strikes will knock out a Gengar. Galar Champion, who is this? Gengar. Wait, why are they all called Galar Champion? That's kind of weird. Okay, so Surging Strikes is going to knock this thing out. Boom. There's hit one. Now we're talking Urshifu. 
That it only took two attacks. Cursed body gets rid of my surging strikes, which is not it's a big deal, but not a really big deal. Now, if you want to go into Rillaboom, Rillaboom's gonna go down the stealth rocks. I, I'm pretty confident it is. I think we outspeed the uh, the Rillaboom too. We are we are Jolly Nature. We're max IVs because I used a bottle cap. Here comes that Pikachu, which is actually scary, believe it or not. If this thing is choice scarfed, obviously I'm gonna run away from it. I'm gonna go Marowak here, to be honest, because I, if he goes for an electric type attack, I have Lightning Rod to cover me. I'm down two Pokemon, which is not good, but basically it's it's tied because he has the Rillaboom in the back, which is gonna go down. Uh, sorry if I keep going like this. I got a little bit of an injured foot right now, and I'm using a little rolling thing to try to get it, try to get it a heal. All right, go for a Volt Tackle. Boom! I'm eating that up all day, Pikachu. All right. I hope you're not running some kind of uh I, I really want to go for a bone ring here i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go for a bone ring surf i i figured you were gonna run surf i hope it's not enough to knock me out it's almost enough to knock me out jesus okay we're gonna go boomerang here this is going to go down in one attack i thought so beautiful shiny pikachu goes down all right Melmetal bring I, I need a Marowak for the Melmetal for sure Melmetal is really bulky and Mel and um, And my Galar champion the Shima again Oh, this thing's this thing hits like a truck I'm not gonna over predict here if if uh, Marowak goes down then Marowak goes down Wicked blow I should have gone to Shifu That's a beautiful animation I really like that animation. I've never seen it until now. All right, so you're going down. You're 97 speed, obviously. So I'm gonna go my owner Shifu here. If your choice banded, your choice banded. I kind of want to go surging strikes again, but I also kind of want to bulk up. I think I'm gonna bulk up here. Withdrawals. I'm gonna bulk up, and I think we got ourselves in your Shifu sweep. The Mel Metal comes out. No problem. That's fine. Bulk up. All right. This is the moment of truth here. So uh, we're going to try to pick up an Urshifu sweep here. I'm going to Dynamax here. And I'm going to go for a Max Knuckle. We're going to go for a Max Knuckle here. I'm pretty sure it resists my water, my water, uh, my water stab attack. So we're going to try to get this thing to plus two. And by thing, I mean Urshifu. Beautiful single style, single or rapid style strike. I think that's what it's called. Rushifu Gigantamax, such a beautiful Pokemon. All right, we attack first with a Max Knuckle. Knock it out! Knock it out, boys! That's what I'm talking about. Plus two Rushifu now. We're looking pretty good. Now, the biggest thing that threatens me is the, uh, the other Shifu because it, it can actually knock me out with a close combat if it is choice banded. If it indeed is choice banned. So kind of wanting to... So Galar, Goku, the Galar champion. Go down to the self rock, maybe? Yes, that's what I thought. Good job, Dreadagon, picking up a KO. Even though you're knocked out. That's that's an MVP right there. By the way, let me know who the MVP of this battle is going to be in the comment section below. Blastoise, the Galar champion. Comes in. Blastoise scares me to an extent. I'm not going to lie. But not too much. So I'm going to go Max Knuckle here. Make my Urshifu a plus three. This is, this is a close battle. The battle is cancelled. That's a W. We got time for one more battle, I think. Let me see if uh, one of my friends have messaged me back. Not yet. So we're gonna we're gonna search for a battle here and try to pick up a W. Okay, so we found a second battle here. We're against Nathan. Nathan is bringing a really cool team. I've never seen a Clauncher in battle before, or I, I've seen a Swoobat. Swoobat can be really, really, really scary. And all the all the others I've seen in a battle before. So it's just a matter of who you're gonna start with. I'm comfortable starting with Magnezone and just Volt switching out of there based on whatever you bring. I know last battle I said that's what I was going to do and completely got out of my game plan. But I think at the end of the day, that, that paid off for us. 
kind of I, I think so um so it's just a matter of who nathan is going to start with if he goes i mean magnazone does a lot of damage to his clauncher or it's clauncher no clauncher i think it's clauncher clauncher it's clauncher i think it's clauncher i can be wrong i get confused with the two i'm sleeping on nathan nathan you're going down buddy you're gonna go down down all right so what are you gonna start with nathan all right so grim snarl comes out i'm okay with that lead to be honest because i got a magnet zone grim snarl cannot paralyze me so what i'm gonna do here should i predict the switch i kind of want to predict the switch yeah i think no 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 should i should i i want to but i don't want to i want to but i don't want to i think i'm gonna volt switch flash cannon volt switch probably setting up a reflect so I'm gonna have, I'm oh he's taunting. Why are you taunting though? You might go down to this. I really hope you go down to this. Boom. Okay, you don't go down quite yet, but that's a lot of damage. You're probably gonna go for a reflector light screen now. You can't prankster me uh, as far a sucker punch. That's that's good. That's a lot of damage. Flash cannon. Okay, and depending on who he comes into next, I might switch out and go into Dreadigon. If it's a physical attacker. If it's a special attacker, of course, I'm going out into my own Slowbro. Slowbro is actually a really good Pokemon in this generation. I, I love Galarian Slowbro. Swoobat. Are you going to knock me out? Magma Zone still valuable to me, so I'm not going to switch out quite yet. What I do want to do is go into Slowbro. This thing has unaware, or not unaware, uh, simple which doubles any any stat boost that this thing gets so i'm gonna try to go slow bro trick room that's kind of new to me this is a trick room team it makes sense it makes a lot of sense that this is a trick room team so i'm gonna go for a calm mind here i find this thing kind of threatening to be honest i out i outspeed because of the trick room which is uh really good information and you're probably gonna go for a calm mind yourself Nasty plot. So you're plus three now. That's scary. That's very scary. Right? Plus three? No, plus two. Or I'm at plus four. But the good news is that it's not. So I'm going to call mine again. I'm going to try to make myself as bulky as possible. I should have trained this thing on special on defense rather than special well i'm 252 hp and 252 special attack so that's good news i think what are you gonna you're probably gonna go into claw uh sir i think it's claw sir launcher's the little baby one the the pre-evolution claw sir yep i was right this thing runs dark pulse so that's kind of scary to me i kind of want so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and go with the shell side arm assuming i outspeed i think that's gonna be good yeah we're at a plus two can we do some damage we're modest nature we knock out a clodster boys that's what i'm talking about clodster goes down so that baton pass really didn't come into play <laughs> trick room coming into Slowbro's favor i really like that i like that a lot to be honest it's kind of dark because it's really cloudy outside and my room doesn't have the best lighting as you can see in the back maybe opening the blinds in the back would help i should have done that Drydagon comes out. Little this thing does this thing know that I'm gonna hit it with a psychic? Oh, I'm gonna go shell side arm. I'm gonna hit this thing with a shell side arm. And it should knock out. Knocks out. Is this a slow bro sweep? Imagine it being a slow bro sweep. I wouldn't complain. Alright, so no more trick room. If the obstacle wants to come out, that's perfectly fine. I'll hit it with the shell side arm also. That should have been your play in the first place, rather than Drudigon. I'm gonna go for a shell side arm here. I'm not afraid of this thing. Not afraid to take a step. See what I did there? If you guys know who Eminem is, you guys obviously know what I'm referring to. What are you gonna go for, Nathan? Come on, Nathan. What you gonna do? Are you gonna Dynamax? I wouldn't complain. Obstruct. I thought you'd go for that. So now you're gonna get your your boost up. I forgot what uh, guts boost. Is that is that contact? 
Okay, so it's not contact. That's good news. The last thing we need is for Slowbro to be minus minus two right now. And defense. So we're gonna sell side arm. If I outspeed, this is gonna be big. If I don't, we're gonna get knocked out. It all it's all depending on this play here. I mean, if worse comes to worse, um, I think we'll, so. Facade. That's gonna do some damage. I don't want to see. We live it. Okay, that's good news. Shell side arm, gonna do a lot of damage. Beautiful, slow, bro. Putting in that work. You you're at one more Pokemon, I think. You're at one more Pokemon, which is the Swoobat, and I I can actually slack off next turn. I can slack off. Slowbro, you dirty monster. This is a Slowbro sweep. Call him the janitor because he sweeps everything up. Swoobat. We might actually be able to knock this thing out, but I'm going to slack off. We're going to try to get a, a, a full Slowbro sweep here. Calm minds. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Luckily, lucky for us, this is, an, this is not a simple set. Otherwise, that would be plus two. All right, so we're gonna slack off. We're gonna get our, our health back up, which is actually pretty important. Given that this thing has called mine a nasty plot, it's kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. So what I'm gonna do is get, hit him with a shell side arm. Try to do some damage. I mean, if it does the damage on the physical side, then it's gonna do more damage that way. But it's just, it's still gonna do, it's still a special move. So we're at plus two. And you're not boosting your defense, so cell side arm might might just attack. Boom. Okay, so this is a bulky swoop bat. Bulky, bulky swoop bat. I kind of want to call mine again, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think that's just what I'm gonna do. Call mine. You're probably gonna call mine also. I would, but Tom pass. Okay, so whatever's coming in is gonna be a plus two. I'm gonna be at plus three special defense. What's his last Pokemon? I forgot what his last Pokemon was. Uh, Drodigon. No, knock, I, I knocked out Drodigon. It's a special Wishy Washy. That's who it is. Wishy Washy. If this is an Assault Vest Wishy Washy, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble. I think this is one of the Pokemon that gets Flip Turn. I don't think it's worth running Flip Turn or using Flip Turn because he just Baton Pass and that go away. Now we're at plus three. I kind of want to get greedy and plus four. I think that I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that because Wishy Washy hits really hard. Granted, we we actually don't take a whole lot of damage. We, we didn't take a lot of damage because its special attack is, is huge. But uh, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, none of the attacks it's going to hit us with is super effective. At least I think. I remember using uh, Wishy Washy and looking at its move pool, and it doesn't do a, a whole whole lot. You're gonna Dynamax Wishy Washy, which is kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie, that's a little bit scary. Big boy Wishy Washy 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 Wishy Wishy. Okay, Wishy Washy, you ain't gonna do a lot of damage, you know that? Because I'm gonna call mine right here, right in your face. Now. Next turn, depending on how much damage this does, I want to slack off or I want to go for another Calm Mind. Because I really want to resist this thing's uh, water type attacks. So Max Geyser is going to gonna be a big, a big factor in this battle. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Maybe too much. I outspeed. So what I can try to do is hit him with a Shell Side Arm. We won't be able to get the slow bro sweep, unfortunately, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the shell side arm here. I'm on, and I'm gonna pick up the rest with uh, Magnezone. Quick draw probably doesn't matter, to be honest. Wow. This thing is bulky. Maybe a salt vest, too. So this thing is probably gonna reverse sweep me, to be honest. Okay, so what I want to do here. I kind of want to go over Shifu, Dynamax myself, go for a Max Guard, and then hit him with a... Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Max Guard, because I don't want to take 140 base power attacks to the face. So we're going to Dynamax here. Or Shifu is such a beautiful Pokemon. I mean, if Swoobat comes in, 
I can hit it with the surging strikes, especially because the rain is up. It's not like anybody can protect anymore because I'm Gigantamax. And I got a Team Fizz, so. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of damage here. Max guard. Well not now, but next turn, because we're gonna try to stop this Max Geyser from from really snowballing. And this wishy-washy from sweeping my team. Now we got a pretty good chance. So I'm gonna go max knuckle here. I'm gonna max knuckle, get my attack up. And then depending on how much damage this is, I might go for uh, uh, the G-Max move. I don't remember the name of it right now. Urshifu is so beautiful. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. The thing I'm witnessing right now. Absolutely stunning. On the last video, the, the video capture card kind of lagged a little bit in the beginning. Hopefully it doesn't do that in this uh, video. So far I'm looking at it and it doesn't look like it is. So that's good news. I got a message back. No, I didn't. I'm trying to get a battle with one of the, one of the people that uh, requested a battle with me from Instagram, but they're in the UK. So it's kind of hard to make things work sometimes, but it's definitely worth. Come on, just give in if that's what you're going to do. Just quit. That's okay. It's okay to quit sometimes. No, it's never okay to quit. You must battle. You must battle until the very end. So we're going to go for a max knuckle here. That's going to do a lot of damage. Hmm. Almost knocks it out almost this rain is up the rain is up okay so you're gonna go for a citrus berry right or figgy citrus oh figgy berry that's okay hydro pump i resist that still does a lot of damage <laughs> even though i resist it well that's at a plus two what can, what else can i expect i got my so i'm 252 attack and 252 speed and put the rest into the defense so obviously it's gonna do a whole lot of damage and her Shifu's special defense isn't, isn't very, very high. So Max Knuckles should knock this thing out. It should knock this thing out. Okay, good. All right, so that's our third turn of Dynamax and we should outspeed the, the Swoobat. We should outspeed the Swoobat. This is some life orb damage or some life orb, uh, some health because of the life orb is what I'm trying to say. Ah, sometimes I just can't talk. It's just hard for me to speak sometimes. Probably I need water. My mouth is getting a little dry right now. So, so, so bad. We're gonna get off of the Dynamax. And we're just gonna knock this thing out with the Surging Strikes. Surging Strikes. Should I make the thumbnail of Shifu or should I make the thumbnail uh, slow, bro? That's one of the things I'm gonna be thinking about while editing this video. You're going down. You're going down. Look at how beautiful this Pokemon is. Trick room, trick room teams are a little bit hard to come by, at least to get a W. I'm very curious to use a trick room team myself in the future. Urshifu's just ready to wreak havoc right now. Look at him. Look at him, he's, he's ready. He's warming up, kind of get that neck rolling a little bit. What are you doing? Why are you taking forever? Just, just give up. Surging Strikes is gonna knock you out. We're at plus two life orb. And it's a critical hit. It's one attack. Oh, two. Wow. Okay. Knockout. That that was a good battle. 5-0. Slowbro put in the work. I think he was the MVP of this battle. Let me know who you guys think was the MVP of this battle in the comment section down below. Nathan, thank you so much for that battle. Thank you for not rage quitting on me uh, for using our boy or Shifu here. I really appreciate it, buddy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take your lead card. I'm taking your lead card. I received the lead card. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video, these two battles. I normally don't do two battles. I usually try to keep it a one. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed the slow bro sweep or semi semi sweep or the Urshifu sweep because Urshifu put in some work in that first battle and he also finished the second battle for us. So that's that's awesome. You guys should leave a like for that. Comment down below on who the MVP of this battle was. Was it Urshifu or was it Slowbro? That's, that's a, it's really a competition between the two of them. If you guys ever want to battle me, feel free to go into the description. Grab my Instagram link, sh follow me, and shoot me a message. That way I get your message. Because sometimes if you don't follow me, you just send me a message. I don't 
I, I forget to check my my requested messages sometimes so be sure you guys follow me there and also subscribe to my channel for more pokemon sword and shield wi-fi battles i will see you guys with battle number three on friday and stay tuned for my part two of the isle of armor experience on wednesday so i'll see you guys next time <laughs>